All right, all right, all right. At this time, Coffee Radio, Coffee Radio live on the air right now. We have Chino on the line. Chino, what's going on? There ain't no blood. What's going on? Sane, sane, sane. All right. Yo, so I do, first thing is first, just want to first say, you know, welcome to Coffee Radio and Mischievous Mondays, uh, the radio show. And you're live right now on the air. And uh, we have fans everywhere listening to you right now. You know what I mean? And more I know what I'm going with you, man. Talk to the people then. Yeah, a whole lot going on. Music. Yeah, that's man. A whole lot. Um, as far as this Pacino, personally, I mean, well, um, quite a few singles that we've been putting out, especially since. Um, last year, coming into this year, um, we had What About Love with Denik, you know what I mean, that's still getting a lot of heavy rotation, what songs like Zion Step, you understand, know, um, Marshall, all of those songs, um, coming into 2016 now, we have nothing to put on, you understand, know, that's getting a lot of buzz, um, we had Boring Man, actually, that that was one of those that's still over from last year, See um, that was on. Uh, that was also featured on VP Records, Strictly the Best Compilation Series. Um, so separate and apart from that, now I'm working on, well, not working on, we're gearing up to put out album number four for me. You yeah, understand? See um, but, but the difference with this album now, it will actually be a collaborative effort between me and my brother, Stephen the Genius. So that is me and him performing throughout the whole entire album. And that's Same. called the GMT project. GMT is for great minds think alike. And and me just take a rally back on that because that's the title of the album, right? It's it's great minds think alike, right? How how you come up? How do you come up with that for the title of the album? Um, well, I mean, that was during the process when you know, I mean, we decided we we're going to make that album together. And um, you know, um, I was kind of brainstorming with names, with titles as we go along. You understand? And I mean. That just came to mind, you know what I mean? That was a no-brainer because it represents me and Stephen, you know what I mean? And it represents what the whole album is about. Same. And great minds think alike. So it's, it's both of us who have similar uh, mindset musically, you know what I mean, coming together and collaborating on this project. Do you Same. get me? Yeah, man. That's what I say. And, and, and the thing is, is this, come here, look on it and I say, it's a, great, it's, it's a wise saying from a long time. <laughs> But people always use, but it yeah. it 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 basically represents excellence, cause it just say yo, you're up on a certain level, we link on a certain level, and you know what we can kind of conceive the same ideas and the same thought process because mm-hmm. of the level we're up on, and and you can hear that in the track, cause me dad listen to some of the tracks them from the album, and you can hear that in the lyrics of the music where you put out, right? Yeah, for sure, no doubt. See, and the thing is, all right, so. One of the singles them off the album, it, it has a roots, it's like a roots reggae track, the Zero Tolerance. Yeah. Talk to mm-hmm. me about Zero Tolerance, man, and how I want to put that together. Um, Zero Tolerance, wow. Um, I, mean, I mean, we came up with that track just like every other track on the album, you know what I mean? That was kind of effortless, you know what yeah. I mean? came up with that easily. But I think it was important for us to kick off the project with an authentic roots reggae single. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know, and other singles that we could easily, you know what I mean, put out. But we think the first thing it was important to do that. And then it fit into the time too, you understand? With, you know what I mean? Even with Jamaica, we have fresh government, you know what I mean? Election just finished. Uh, and even in America, you know, we have election coming up, the whole thing. So it's relative, you understand, in, in terms of the subject matter. And it's very thought provoking. So, you know, what I mean, people people really gravitate to that song. Yeah, you understand See. both, both um, the disc jacks. You know, what I mean, everyone worldwide that's spinning and endorsing the track, the selectors and the fans, just the same. You understand? We also have a video out there. You know, what I mean, that's getting quite a lot of love. But I think I think people really gravitate to it uh, more so because it's um, it's refreshing as yeah. opposed to everything. Everything else that's happening, and especially coming from us, you understand. And we're taking it back to um, authentic production, authentic musicianship, authentic lyricism. You understand? We're taking it back to that place of lyrics. You know what I mean? Spitting like real lyrics, and you know what I mean? Making thought provoking songs. So I think that's why people really appreciate that song so much. 
yeah. And I mean, I, I'm going to play it already tonight. I'm going to play it again. And when you sit down and just li- listen to just basically the lyrics are how it put together. It, it, it's like a thought, as you say, it's thought provoking. You know what I mean? We'll make you really sit down and think about what are going with current affairs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and just to know, as you say, it wasn't even that hard for put that together. You know, it just it's just come you like, oh wow. It's not even like you're not yeah. to scratch the surface of pretty much all of the talent with both you and your brother, you know what I mean, the genius have. Yeah, give thanks. Um yeah, and as I said, that's just the, the, the first official single. You understand? Yeah. Um and practically every single that we're, we're going to be releasing after the album will be accompanied by a figure. See? So, the follow-up single, it might be something far less from Zero Talent. And then that, the, the following single after that might be something even a, a bit more far less. You understand? So that's the whole vibe with the album. It's very moody. It's not restricted to a max to say we're going to make a reggae per se as, as you know what I mean, as people will consider reggae or a dancer as a person. We're musicians. You yeah. understand and have a vast um, knowledge and, and musical abilities and capabilities. You understand? So we don't restrict our talent to a box. And we, you know what I mean? You're, you're going to get just that. Seeing. Where this album is concerned. Seeing. Yeah. Seeing. So if you're a fan of real music, of authentic music, authentic lyricism, you know what I mean? Concepts, melodies, all of that, then you definitely enjoy this album. I'm not telling a lie. I hear words where people are talking about Grammy Buzz just based on the content of the album. And even based on that, all of the features where you have, you have the gang on the album and the Marley's, right? Oh, you know that. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> <for> my man. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, um, funny, enough, funny enough, we're actually in the studio. Um, up until like seven, eight this morning, we and Damien and Steve too. You know what I mean? Working, doing some work. Um, and Damien's album. Damien have a nice album coming up. You understand? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Um, and Steve Marley, of course, also have a nice album. He's about to, you know what I mean, put out. So, even that within itself is a, is a wonderful vibe too. You understand? All of us respect and look up to each other personally and musically and we're on the same journey together. You understand? We're putting our projects together and we're all, you know what I mean? And in some way involved in each other's projects. You know what I mean? So when when the projects come out now we hit the road it's it's going to be a joy. Trust me, I want that really joy. No man, and and for real, and, and you know it it, it get it's it's like it's exciting for even just think about what are going for 2016 as far as the summer, yeah. and and the rest of the year yeah. with all them albums you're talking about that's coming out. Yeah, so I mean you don't know the the, the, the spotlight and the microscope is on Jamaican Jamaican music once again. You understand? So, See, uh, unfortunately, the case is most time a one. Local artists jump out the park and, you know? Yeah. And then there's a gap, like a big four-year, five-year, you more gap till somebody has been through. So we, we, we want to kind of stop that momentum and know, say, yo, you see me? No, the man. whole youth, the whole team, you understand? So one of cross over and jump through the gate to, to the, you understand? We'll bring through a next man, a next man will jump through same time, you understand? See. And show people, say, yo, we as Jamaican people can make music at the highest level too. How oh, the hip hop artists them and the R and B artists them and the pop artists them do it. You understand? Because at the end of the day everybody's borrowing from Jamaican music. You See. understand? So we have to showcase and you know it, it the media too, especially the radio, you know what I mean, play a big responsibility of filtering. Yeah. You understand? Filtering mediocre music and pushing the, the authentic and the genuine stuff to the forefront. You understand? See. Because when the, the ears, when, when the necessary ears tune in and say, hey, what's going on in Jamaica, Jamaican music? And if what them listen is something that is real and worthy, then that's a good thing. As opposed to the first thing they listen is something that's mediocre, or pre-production, or not mixed properly, or what have you. They're not going to show them up. See. You understand? So yeah. the moral of the story is, and uh, the good artists and the good productions and the good songs that have been made. See, and I mean, like what you just said about that because the whole 
Rihanna fiasco thing where what's your views on that? Well you know my take on that is I have no problem with them doing what we're doing. Yeah. You know I'm I'm, I'm experimenting with what we're doing because I mean that's a compliment at the end of the day and that's flattering yeah. actually. Um when they're gonna take it now and give it a different label then that's where I have an issue. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. But I have no issue with everything else with them using our music. You get me? Yeah, man. I have no issue with that. You understand? Same. Same. I mean, for argument's sake, one of the biggest songs in the whole entire world for 2015 was Omi's song, Cheerleader. Yes. Right? Yeah. And really and truly, that's not a regular dance hall song. That's a pop song. But you don't hear the pop artist bashing us and saying, boy, you know what I mean? These Jamaican people, them are running our thing. You understand? Same. They embrace it, same. And so, same way we have been that, Rihanna, them and Drake, them and all of them, you know what I mean? We are the reggae because it's a lift for us. You understand? When yeah. them shot and, and sell records with reggae, then, you know what I mean? Other people go and look into Jamaica and what else is happening in the reggae circuit. You get me? Yeah, man. Saying, saying, saying. All right, so when when can we, the people, expect the album to drop? We know you said You basically. can expect this GMTA project. Yes. Out on the road officially late summer. So we're looking at like late August, very early September. But between now and then, we'll be dropping the singles. We'll be dropping um, probably around three singles and before, right before the album officially um, released. And and I figure more or less that you're going, you know, I'm not going to have one bag of tours all over the place, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely for sure. I mean, the work started already. Um, we did some promo run in Boston last week and then New York. Um, the Boston show was sold out way ahead of time. Um, it was a great vibe. Actually, while we're on stage before we even got to the hotel around. Um, which was like a, a, that song was at the time was like a week old there about you understand and people in the, the audience actually requesting that song already. That was a shocker. You understand I'm performing people singing it singing out the song word for word. You understand? Same thing when we got to New York the following day, you know what I mean? That was a, a jump pack show as well. So it's a good vibe. Um, as far as touring now gearing up we have a upcoming US tour. Okay. Um, starting in early June, right through to earlier mid July, and then late Ju- um we have some Canada dates after that too. And late July we have Europe tour. You know, what I mean, it should be we'll be doing uh, most of the major festivals okay. here. Um, so yeah, we have a busy year so, ahead so. of us. And the same thing, just like I said, I say, so it sounds like you're going to have a busy year where you're going to be pretty much all over the place basically touring and, you know, just sharing the good music with people. Yeah, for sure. Same. For sure. No, no. no, man, for real, for real. So, so I'm asking this, what, Stephen, the next year are close to you? No, he's not, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, two different places. Stephen, I'm let Stephen sleep in because, <laughs> yeah, but I'm we're in the studio for a while. Uh-huh. Uh, so. No man, I so saw the life of, a, of an artist, man. You know, you you know, you sleep where you can. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah, all work. Just me. See yeah. you know? All right, so Chino, look this. Uh, go ahead and shout out your your social media where everybody can follow you right now, so them can keep in touch with your tour dates and everything. Yeah, it's everything Chino McGregor. See, so it's C H I N O M C G R E G O R. So Instagram Chino McGregor, Facebook. Chino McGregor. Twitter, Chino McGregor. Snapchat, Chino McGregor. <laughs> so everywhere. So everywhere, Chino McGregor. So everybody know, right? I know. You understand? Yeah. See it there, see it there, see it there. Actually, let me ask you one more thing, Chino, before you leave. You know, we, okay. So, you know, as an artist, we see an artist, you know what I mean? And we see the success an artist have. But a lot yeah. of times, people don't see the team where they're behind the artist. So, Tell me a little yeah, bit about so, your team right now and, and big them up. No, big up the whole ship team, man. The whole ship family. Um, I mean, you, you said it. It's self-explanatory. You understand? Of a real team. You know what I mean? That's from all the way from the studio side of it, the production side of it, um, to the road management side of it, the street team side of it, to the, the, the visual side of it. You know, we have um, our in-house 
um, videographers. So, you know what I mean? Big up bigs in shoot, practically all our music videos. See. You, know? you understand? So, you know what I mean? So, the, the management side of things. So, it's a full team. You understand? And that, that, that is what makes the team work. Exactly. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? That's right. See, see. All right. So, Chino, I want to say just big up yourself right now. You understand? On behalf of Coffee Radio, I want to say much, much blessings on everything where you touch. See? Give thanks. And give thanks for the, for the love and the support. Coffee definitely. Radio. And we want to say when the album drop, definitely come back because it's a family thing, you know? You understand? Come back, come talk oh, to you and make the people them know. See? Sure. Sure, you're not for second guess that. See it, see it, see it. All right, you know, big up yourself. You understand? We're going to blaze up the track them again. Zero Talent, we're going to run it back right now. Make the people and get more familiar with it. You understand? And no fluff. See it? Respect, all right? Here, bossy. Give thanks. Respect. All right.